guys, it's Chelsea, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be telling you about TV shows and movies that I, I've i watched or am currently watching um, and that I love um, and that I love and I like wanted to share you guys um, those thing like those TV shows and movies and kind of like give you guys a little bit of insight of what they are in case you guys don't know what they are. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first one is The Fosters, and The Fosters is a show about this family who had, they, it's about a lesbian couple, and one of the main, like one of the moms was married to a man, and they had a kid together, but then they broke up, and then the mom married the girl, um, Lena and stuff, I'll say their name. Steph and Lena, so Steph was married to Mike, and they had a kid who was Brandon, so they, they, Mike and Lena broke up before the show started, so then it was Steph and Lena, they got married, um, and they had Brandon, like, they still had Brandon with them, and so they, um, fostered some kids, it started off with Jesus and Mar Mariana, and so there was just three kids in the house, and then they, um, adopted Callie and Jude, and Callie had a lot of issues before she came into being a foster kid, and so throughout the show, it kind of like shows the struggles that Callie had and the family has had as well, and it keeps go going. There is a total of five seasons. I've watched all five seasons, and there's a second half to season five that, um, there's like 22 videos, I think, to season five, and I'm on episode 11, I think episode 13 I think of season 5 so I'm getting there to the end of that so that show is like really amazing number two is Pretty Little Liars and um that is a show about four girls who grow up in Rosewood Pennsylvania I think is where that's located and um they lose their best one of their best friends who is their leader and it kind of just shows how like this person A is like ruining their lives for so long and I think there are seven seasons and I'm watching it for the third time in a row so like I don't think there's three seasons I think there's like five or seven seasons and I'm watching them all again so yeah the third one is 13 reasons why and I feel like the majority of you guys know what 13 reasons why is because it's all it was all over TV there are two seasons on um, for it the first season talks about Hannah Baker and the tapes that she has on people that had something to do with the way with her committing suicide. And the second season, I only like just started that season and I kind of heard that it was just about the guy that did something to himself during season one, which you, if you haven't seen it, I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. So like, if you haven't seen the rest, all of season one, there's something happens at the end with a guy that did some like nasty stuff and I think season two is all about him. So yeah. Number four is Grey's Anatomy and I also, uh, I have recently just started Grey's Anatomy. I'm still on season one, like episode 11, I think, I don't even know. But Grey's Anatomy is an amazing show um, and there's like so many seasons. So if you guys like um, watching shows about doctors and stuff like that, Grey's Anatomy is a good one. Um, number five is Degrassi. I think I said that right. I'm not too sure. I actually recently started watching that. I am only, I'm not even halfway through the first episode because I've been like busy watching all of my other shows that I watch on Netflix because I love Netflix and I love YouTube, but like I kind of watch YouTube more than Netflix and I'm trying to like watch all these shows that I've already seen and like catching up on the ones that I've seen that have that have added, um, episode so I'm trying to like catch up on all of those but I'm going to start watching that show so I really don't know what Degrassi is all about really I just started watching it so yeah uh number six is Fuller House and I kind of just started that one as well I watched a few episodes and then went back because I don't remember anything that happened <laughs> like I'm still like still in the first season um and that's basically just like all the cast of Full House comes back together like so many years later and then like do some like, move on with their lives, I guess. Um, number seven is The Vampire Diaries. Um, I recently also started watching that show, like, a few months ago. So, I, I don't even know what episode or season I'm on, but I'm getting there. 
and I might, like, start watching that soon. Um, number eight is Shameless, and, um, that one's a really good one, too. Like, I haven't watched that one in a while, either, so I'm trying to, like, wanting to catch up on some of these shows. Um, these next four are, are movies. So the first movie I have is The Parent Trap, and it's about these two girls, um, who meet up at a camp, and they switch places, because they're twins, and their parents are divorced, so they switch places to meet the other parent that they haven't met yet, and then they finally get their parents to meet back at the end of the movie, and it's just a love story. Uh, number 11 is Trust, which is based, which is a movie about a girl who is talking to this guy online, and, um... This guy is talking to her and is lying about his age and everything like that. And so they eventually meet at the mall and he takes her to his hotel room, his motel room and basically rapes her. And like it goes through a whole like thing of like trials and lawyers and cops and everything like else like that. And it's a really good movie. Number 12 is Cyberbully and with, and it's with Emily Osment. It's a really good movie about this girl who, um, people at the, her high school are just bullying her online, and she, somewhere in the middle of the movie, she tries to kill herself, and so things start to, like, come out, and, like, are actually, like, things are being figured out and stuff like that. Um, and number 13 is Love, Simon, which is a very recent movie, um, and it's just about this guy that's holding in that he is gay, and someone eventually, like, spurs it out to the entire school building, and his secret has been revealed, and he, like, loses friends, and stuff like that, but in the end, he gets all his friends back, and he gets, and he figures, he figures out who did this to him. So those are the TV shows and the movies that I am watching, or have watched. Um, so thanks for watching this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next video.